so it's been about 48 hours or so since Ireland were knocked out of the European Championships in 2021 in the playoff round to Slovakia it was on Thursday night of course it is currently Saturday night and um, yeah to be honest I wasn't really going to do a video regarding this match but I just thought you know what I might as well because there's a lot of things I want to get off my chest regarding the match on, so on Thursday I should say and also what the future holds for Stephen Kenny and his reign as Republic of Ireland manager so uh, yeah let's get straight into this video now okay firstly off the bat I just want to say like you know obviously it's it's heartbreaking really that we're not going to the European Championships if you're an Irish fan you will probably feel the same way but to be honest I'm just going to put out there I am still behind Stephen Kenny because if any of you watched that match I think a lot of you will agree that that was probably the best football we've seen Republic of Ireland play in terms of like technical ability in probably ever if I'm honest I mean you can definitely tell that Stephen Kenny and his like you know kind of passing style of play is really being implemented into this team like very quickly and probably quicker than we all thought because to be honest the performance from the Republic of Ireland on Thursday night was uh, in my opinion I would use the term anti-Irish if I'm honest because when have we ever seen any manager ever managing Ireland play football like that and that is why I am fully behind Stephen Kenny adapting this style of play into these Irish players because I firmly believe if he gets these like players adapted to the style of play that we will be very very good to watch maybe the goals might not be flowing but I think that's purely down to the fact that we don't have like an out and out goal scorer like don't get me wrong David McGoldrick I think is a very underrated footballer he's probably our best player in terms of like overall technical natural ability but I think he's not really the natural goal scorer we need I think if we had someone like Robbie Keane like if he was in this team he'd score an absolute hat full of goals I also think if we had like Wes Houlihan in his prime as well like I think Wes Houlihan was purely wasted under the likes of Martin O'Neill and even Giovanni Trapattoni because if Wes Houlihan was in this team as well we'd probably already be qualified if I'm perfectly honest because Wes Houlihan would be an absolutely unbelievable baller in that Stephen Kenny system but yeah back onto the game on Thursday night and then to be honest it's probably the best I've seen Republic of Ireland perform as I said in a very very long time we were actually very unlucky not to win the game and I know it was a quite poor Slovakian side for any of you guys who watched that match I mean Slovakia were very poor they were missing of course Milan Skriniar and Martin Dubravka but even still you have to beat what's put in front of you and I think that we really deserve to win I mean the chances that come to mind are Alan Brown's one earlier in the, in the second half when uh, you know he took the shot and it went straight at the keeper he should have put into the far corner and it would have been a guaranteed goal and also the Connor Horhan chance as well kind of like midway through the second half I think it was later on in the game actually where he missed from about three yards out I mean it was a hard enough chance but he really should have scored that and uh, it would have probably sent us into the qualifying round against Northern Ireland to qualify for the Euros which is you know very depressing to think about in hindsight and you know, overall I think that David McGoldrick and uh, probably Shane Duffy were the two main players I think they were very very good I think Jeff Hendrick and Connor Horhan were very good in the midfield and uh, to be honest I think that James McLean was probably the weakest link in the team I mean he's definitely passed his best and I'd be very very surprised if we saw him in an Ireland shirt again and of course he only really played because Aaron Connolly was uh, out with suspected COVID or something like that I mean it was absolutely ridiculous how he didn't play the story behind it but uh, yeah Aaron Connolly was a massive miss because I purely believe he is kind of the instinct striker that we need he's probably the closest thing we have to an actual natural goal scorer and you know he's very fast as well but yeah to be honest there's very little we can complain about in terms of the performance it's just in the end of course as well to lose on penalties is just extremely harsh given this the performance of the team and yeah now we move on to the World Cup qualification for the 2022 World Cup and to be honest I'm not, I know I'm praising Stephen Kenny and like this Ireland team so far but I'm really not confident in qualifying for the World Cup and that's simply because if we can't qualify for the Euros I know it's only Stephen Kenny's third game in charge and now we probably will be in better shape for the World Cup qualification campaign but it's a lot harder to qualify for the World Cup than it is for the Euros and I think that we'll have to do absolute wonders to get out of our World Cup qualification group but I'll be supporting the boys and uh, yeah it would be absolutely incredible to see us qualify for a World Cup because it would be the first World Cup we could qualify for in my lifetime and yeah, as I said earlier on this video I think the only reason why well the main reason why anyway that we didn't beat Slovakia on Thursday night was because because the lack of goals obviously we drew nil nil and yeah we really just don't have that instinct like sharp fox in the box kind of goal scorer like you know someone like Robbie Keane for example in this prime and it's a real shame because in my personal opinion it's probably a bold statement but I think Stephen Kenny is probably the best manager Ireland have ever had I mean I know it's early days because it's only three games into his tenure the signs are there already the style of football he wants to play is just as I said completely anti-Irish I mean it's not it's like nothing we've ever seen before as Irish fans and I think if he had the right players at his disposal right now I think Ireland would have definitely gone through and uh, I think it as well I agree with Eamon Dunphy with what he said on RTE if Stephen Kenny had been the manager from the very start of the European Championships qualifying campaign I think we would have quali probably qualified not even just through the playoffs but maybe automatically which obviously it's easy for us to say that now but uh, in terms of what the future holds we never know but we go again come on you boys in green and yeah that'll pretty much conclude this video so uh, yeah to conclude once again I am behind Stephen Kenny and uh, if you're Irish and you're a fan of the Irish national team of course you should be too because I firmly believe that if Stephen Kenny gets these players adapted to his style of play will be one of the most entertaining teams to watch in European football and uh, that's saying something because that just sounds so weird to say as a Republic of Ireland fan but there you go and yeah that's where we're going to end this video now so if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like on the video It'd be very much appreciated I also want to thank you guys so so much for 600 subscribers it's an absolutely mental number and we've hit it in such a short space of time on this channel as well so yeah thank you guys for that and if you want to be part of the road to 700 subscribers make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in my next video see ya